Hello friends, welcome to second video of linear regression analysis. In this video, we will discuss the main objective of simple linear regression and also we will see the example of simple linear regression that will help you to understanding how should we interpret coefficient of simple linear regression model. So let's start. A uh, simple linear regression model has two main objective. The first one is going to establish the relationship between two variable dependent variable and independent variable. We will see later what is dependent variable and independent variable. And the second is the predict the new observation based on historical data. There are two types of relationship positive relationship and negative relationship. Correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient is the technique to measure the relationship between two variables. The correlation coefficient cannot be higher than 1 or less than minus 1. If the correlation coefficient of two variable is 1, then this is the perfect linear relationship example of between the two variable. It is also called as positive relationship. In positive relationship, if the data tends to move together in the sense that when one in increases and the other one increases as well, here is the scatter plot of average pulse and calorie burn. In the scatter plot, the average pulse rate increases as well as the calorie burn also increases. If the co uh, correlation coefficient of two variable is minus less than 1 minus sorry minus 1 then there is a perfect negative relationship between two variable it is also called negative relationship in negative relationship one variable value increases and the other variable value tend to decrease here is the scatter plot of four covers before training and calorie burn. In this scatter plot, work over before training and calorie burn. If we work longer over, we tend to move have longer, uh, lower calorie burnage because we are exhausted uh, before the training session. And if the coefficient, uh, correlation coefficient of two variable is zero, then there is no relationship between two variable. As you can see in the scatter plot, there is no relationship between the two variable. Let's see some other example. As we, ex as we expect, one higher income will generally spend more of given product. In this case, we are talking about the positive relationship between relationship uh, between uh, income and spending. We also analyze the relationship between wage and age. We could ask if whose age is higher are more likely to earn than the other lower age. We use the regression model to test if that relationship exists. Another example is student height and exam score. It is odd relationship between these two variables. We should expect no relationship to exist and we can use regression model to test. Our second objective is to predict the new observation. Here we can use what we know about the existing relationship to predict an observed value. Let's say example. For instance, if we know that our cell to tend to grow over time and we actually even know how strong the relationship is, uh, we know uh, how fast our cell grow, we could use this information to predict what will our cell be over in the next quarter variables dependent variable what is dependent variable the dependent variable is the value that we want to use the model to explain or predict the value of this variable depend on the other variable it is the outcome what we are studying so we denote we denotate uh, this value by y Independent variable 
independent variable are the one that is used to explain or predict value changes in the dependent variable. The name helps you understand their role in the statistical analysis. These variables are independent. We denoted it as x. Now let's look the simple linear regression model equation. Let's look the component of this model. Phi equals to b0 plus b1 x plus epsilon. b0 is the y-intercept of the regression model. Beta 0 is the refer to the y-intercept of the line. We are defining this model. We will refer to this line as a regression line. Y-intercept means it is where the line would cross over the y-axis, that point would be the beta 0. We can also say that the value of y when x is 0, at the y-axis the value of x is 0. So when x is 0, whatever y is that point would be the y-intercept beta 0. B1 is the slope of the regression line. This would represent the slope of the regression line. The slope tells us the two things, whether the line increasing or decreasing and how steep it is. Next one is epsilon. This is referred to error that exists in our prediction model as good as our model is there is always random error term that cannot be counted for. Let's took a, take a look, uh, look at uh, some example of the regression line. Here we have an example that shown a line sloping upward because the line sloping upward is showing the positive or increasing relationship between x and y. It means x increases as well as y also increases. The beta slope will be positive number. The line itself is called the regression line. Y intercept beta 0 is here. Y intercept beta 0 is here where the regression line hits the y axis. Next example show the downward sloping line and depicts negative relationship between x and y. When we have negative relationship, we see that as x axis increases and y axis y uh, axis decrease hence the line slope downward so beta 1 the slope would be the negative number the regression line is here and the y intercept is here where the line hits the y axis here is the another example where we have flat line cross this plot shows x increases and y remain the same. So there is no relationship between x and y axis. In this situation the beta 1 the slope would be equal to 0. So when there is no relationship between two variable slope is 0. Regression line is this flat line going cross and the y intercept beta 0 would be here where the regression line hits the y axis. Simple linear regression equation look like this. y refers to estimated or predicted value of y for a given x value. Beta 0 is the y intercept for the line and beta 1 is the slope. So now we have all the component we need to define straight line. We have slope and we have y intercept. Now we will see, show you the example of this is in the next video. Thank you.